Um, I think it's just um, you know knowing what the main thing is, you know, keeping the main thing the main thing, and that's for us to try to execute offensively and defensively. Um, you know, um, you know, understanding you know how important I am to the team, and just trying to you know foresee what, what we need to do to execute offensively and defensively to be better and try to win the ball game. LeBron, when Jordan was going off the floor in the second quarter, um, he had had his 12, I think, already, and you kind of grabbed him and, and patted him a couple times on the head, obviously said something to him. What, if you remember, what did you say to him in the moment there? Uh, I just thought he was great. I thought he was great in that moment. Um, you know, he's obviously he's been out of rhythm and trying to figure out, you know, ways he can be productive to our team. And we need Jordan scoring. I mean, he, he has the ability to go off in the second quarter like he did. And, uh, you, know, it was, uh, you know, it was great to see that happen for him in that moment. You know, he played well. Rodney did. Larry, Jeff, uh, Corver, obviously, with the 18. How important do you think it was for those guys, for them, uh, to have games like they did tonight in a, in a playoff? Um, I mean, I think in the way and in the fashion how the game was going and then for us to win, I think it means a lot, you know, to, you know, Rodney, you know, Jordan and Larry. I mean, this is their first opportunity in the postseason. And, um, for this to be a you know kind of a must win for us, uh, well you know it was a must win for us to come into a hostile environment and for them to you know play the way they played. I think um, you know it meant a lot for them. And then my last one, did you need to see that from them? No, I mean I know what they're capable of doing, and um, you know you just always hope that your teammates can play well, you know no matter and you know, what the circumstances are. Le- LeBron, he played 46 minutes tonight. Game one, he played 44, and he said he almost. You know, obviously being a loss, you didn't expect to, to play that much. But um, how is it important? How important is it for the team to have you out there as much as possible? And, and what do you do to allow you to be able to make plays late in the game when you are playing that much? Well, I mean, my minutes kind of got messed up a little bit with Kev's early foul trouble. You know, I was expecting to come out, um, you know, like two or three minutes in the first quarter and then start the second quarter. Uh, but Kev got in foul trouble, so I, you know, pretty much. You know, came out with 54 seconds in the first quarter, and then I started the second quarter and played all the way till five, and you know, kind of finished it off after I got a quick break. And um, you know, because of our third quarter woes, I had to you know pretty much play the, first, you know, the second half. So um, you know, I had every intention on trying to get a couple minutes in the first and and a few more minutes in the third, but it just didn't work out that way. But um, you know, just trying to save pockets of energy, you know, uh, you know, throughout. Especially the second half, when I know it's going to be a possession game, uh, both teams are you know playing equal basketball. Both teams are playing very well defensively. So, you know, just trying to save pockets of energy when I know, you know, I'm going to be needed offensively. You know, to kind of make a play not only for myself but uh, you know, but for my teammates. Are you just expected at this point to play the entire second half? It's now happened in two and three, and now it's a two-two series going forward. Uh, I mean, I'm expected to just, you know, go out and just try to help our team win. And, uh, I mean, every game is different. You know, um, you know, I know Coach Lou and the coaching staff would love to give me a couple minutes here and there. I would love to get a couple minutes here and there to keep me fresh. Tonight didn't, um, didn't give us that opportunity. So, you know, every, every game is different. So we see what happened at five. Did you ask to stay in at the start of the second? The start of the second quarter? Yeah. Um, well, that was... That was the thing that we were going to do tonight, just because um, you know we felt like that was going to best fit our in our lineup, and we played very well in the second quarter. LeBron, um, fourth quarter, Kyle's two threes. What were your thoughts about those? Uh, you know how important they were to to you guys getting the game back. Well, it's the ones he he he's been missing, and uh, but at the end of the day, it's the ones that's going to keep coming to him because he's one of the all time <clears throat> leaders in three points made. So. Um, you know, I, we got on a break, um, you know, on the one and, you know, I seen a two on one on the backside with, with him and Kev running the right, the right wing of right in front of their bench. Uh, so I already knew one or the two was going to get a good look. So I was able to skip it across to Kev. He drew a guy to him. He skipped it to, to Kyle right in front of their bench in the corner. He knocked it down. And then on the fly, we was, you know, I had some communication with our coach, with Coach Lou and, and with the players while they weren't paying attention. It was able to call a set. To get him another bang bang three, um, you know, ac- across from their bench, him flying off a pin down. So, um, you know, his four threes was, I mean, was huge. I mean, we needed every last one of them, obviously. Uh, LeBron, a few years ago, you got your team was at risk of going down three one against Chicago, and you pulled that game out, and it almost seemed like that propelled that group 
to you know go on quite a ways, six games in the finals. You see, what sort of parallels do you see between tonight and, and avoiding that 3-1 and what you can build off of? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's to be seen. Um, you, I mean, 3-1 is just a, it's a huge diff, uh, deficit, and you don't want to ever go down 3-1 versus anybody, no matter if it's first round or all the way up. And if you're fortunate enough to get to the finals, it's just too difficult. So um, with them coming in our home building and taking away home court advantage in game one, uh, we knew in order to get the series back trans to, to us having home court, we had to win one on their, on their floor. We had a great opportunity in, in, in game three. Um, but I've always talked about the best teacher in life is experience, and we was able to experience that in game three and not just falter like we did in game three tonight when they made a run. We still made shots, we still executed, and, um, and we're still able to close out a quarter. Um, you know, not as great as we would like to, but we didn't lose the lead. And, um, you know, they went up one with Booker's free throws um, in the fourth quarter. But after that, we was just able just to kind of stay at bay, continue to execute, and uh, continue to play. LeBron, you scored 23 points in the first half, and then in the third quarter, they held you to a single point. What were they doing, or what adjustments did they make that created problems for you in that, in that quarter? No, I just missed. I even missed the free throw. That's how I got my one point. LeBron, I think you, were, um, you guys were down three when the tech happened. Did, did that spark two. something late? Okay, yeah, two. Um, did that spark something late? For you guys, I think Indiana only made one field goal. No, next no, five no, I didn't. I mean, uh, I mean, I shouldn't, should never got a tech in the first place. I mean, it's a timeout call. This guy's following me to my bench and then give him a little nudge and he falls to half court. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but I should know better. It's, <clears throat> I, I should know better. I've been dealing with this since elementary. It's like I tell you a joke, you know, I tell you a joke and then you laugh and you get caught. That's what happened. Lance told me a joke. I laugh. Teacher called me. Now I got to go see the principal. So that's what happened. You were talking this morning about, I know you don't have any explanation for the third quarter problems, but it was another bad start to the third quarter again tonight. Is there a consistency to these things? Is it the same thing happening over and over again, or why do you think this keeps no, I don't know. I mean, I don't have the answer for you. Like I said this morning, I mean, it's been like this all season. Um, in game three, we came out at six minutes and we just shot around. Everybody, you know, you shoot around. It's not like two lines. Everybody getting their own shots and the ball boys throwing them to you. So I was like, okay, let's switch it up tonight. Let's get two lines. Let's get our, you know, layup line like you do before the game. And the same, same thing happened. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, you just want to come out and, 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 you know, we had some, we had some breakdowns early in that third quarter. Defensively, not offensively. We had some breakdowns defensively that we just can't have. So, you know, it wasn't about us being warm or our bodies being, you know, back into the game. It was like our mind. We lost our mind a couple of times. We let Miles Turner get a few threes that it just shouldn't happen because we had breakdowns. And uh, so, you know, we just got to clean that up. All right.